2023 Maserati Levante Review, High Fashion Looks, High Price The luxury performance SUV market in the USA is growing, and the Maserati Levante has had to step up its game. It got a facelift a couple of years ago, and its trim lineup was shuffled to make finding the best model for your needs easier. The Italian automaker seems to feel that the 2023 Levante is capable of going head-to-head -head with the likes of the Porsche Cayenne or BMW X5M while it still has a V8 in the range, the automaker confirmed the V8 will go out of production after the 2023 model year. With few updates for 2023, you still get the powerful twin-turbo V8 that makes 550 horsepower on the top Modena S, but you also get the unimpressive infotainment system inherited from the cheaper Stellantis products. So, is it confidence or resignation that has led to the decision to make no changes moving towards the next-generation model? 2023 Maserati Levante changes, what's the difference vs the 2022 Levante? For the 2023 Maserati Levante, the only notable change is that some previously optional driver assistance features, like forward collision avoidance, are now standard across the range. This follows after a facelift in 2021 and a lineup revision in 2022. Pros and Cons Ferrari-derived V8 is still available. Gorgeous design, inside and out. Interior looks and feels good. Standard driver assists. Transmission is a good companion to the engine. Pricing is unjustifiable. Cargo space isn't great. Some interior bits and pieces from other Stellantis products drags the interior down. What's the price of the 2023 Maserati Levante? A new Maserati Levante SUV will cost you over $90,000, even in its most basic configuration. The price of the 2023 Maserati Levante GT is $90,700, while the Modena surpasses six figures, starting at $101,400. Topping the range is the Modena S at a staggering $127,600. These are the MSRP prices of the Maserati Levante and do not include tax, registration, or the $1,495 destination and handling fees. 2023 Maserati Levante Handling and Driving Impressions Maserati doesn't just make cars that look good, they feel good, too. This relates to their handling as well as their comfort levels. The latter is thanks to the adaptive air suspension, which has various settings depending on the mood you're in. Comfort will be the go-to, as the Levante is still a luxury SUV that focuses on delivering a smooth riding experience. This pairs well with the well-insulated cabin that keeps unwanted noise outside. But if you do want to have some fun, flip it to sport mode, and the suspension stiffens a bit to minimize body roll. This lets you take corners a bit more aggressively or overtake without a fuss, but you have to sacrifice comfort. In this setup, the Levante almost begs you to play with it, thanks to a good amount of feedback from the steering, which is quick and responsive. Unfortunately, you need the power of the Modena SS V8 engine to really get the best experience, and the stronger Brembo brakes give you the confidence to push it to the limits. 2023 Levante Exterior The Levante certainly looks distinctive. The edgy headlights and taillights make a big visual impact and we especially like how the daytime running lights work with the chrome grille surround to form a line that almost runs the width of the SUV. From the side, you'll notice the concave line over the wheel arches, emphasizing the supercar-like hips from certain angles. The rear is finished off with quad tailpipes, so you know it means business. GT models are equipped with 20-inch Festo Platinum wheels as standard. Oddly, for such an expensive car, the Levante doesn't have LED lights as standard, with the GT and Modena models relying on bi-xenon headlights and only the Modena S getting LEDs as standard. The GT and Modena get chrome exterior accents such as the window surrounds, door handles, and fender vents. The Modena gets black side badging and the Modena S gets all black treatment for the exterior styling elements including the wheels, grille, window surrounds, side badging, mirrors, brake calipers, and grille. 
The F Tributo comes with model-specific badging on the fenders, 21-inch wheels with yellow embellishments, and yellow brake calipers. A dual-pane sunroof is standard on all models. Dimensions Dimensions for the Maserati Levante are well within the segment standards. It has a total length of 197 inches, 197.6 inches on Levante Modena S, and a width of 77.5 inches without the mirrors, 85 inches with them. The wheelbase is 118.3 inches. It's convincingly larger than the other Italian performance SUV in the Stellantis lineup, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. The Levante is also longer than the Porsche Cayenne, 194 inches, but the German car is an inch longer in the wheelbase. An entry-level Levante weighs 4,650 pounds, while the top-spec twin-turbo V8 weighs 5,070 pounds. 2023 Levante Interior The interior of a luxury performance SUV like the Maserati Levante should feel special and, in many ways, it does. Climb in, sit there for a moment, and you'll undoubtedly appreciate the leather and wood, or carbon fiber, depending on what you choose. It's lovely, but it's just shy of what we expect in this segment in terms of build quality. We do love the Maserati clock on top of the center console, though. Upon closer investigation, you'll notice some familiar switchgear and an infotainment system shared with various Jeeps and Dodges. Maserati claims the operating software is unique, which is true to an extent. The screen may show, Maserati, when it starts up, but the shortcuts and such are inexcusably similar to those in a Jeep Gladiator. If Genesis can create an entirely different interface using Hyundai parts, surely Maserati should do the same. While we appreciate the cost-saving aspect of parts sharing, we can't get over the fact that the Levante has almost the same interface as the $25,000 Jeep Renegade. Seating and interior space. Maserati doesn't claim specific figures for legroom and headroom, but five passengers can manage just fine. Given the ample wheelbase, space was never going to be an issue. Like most of its rivals, the Levante can easily accommodate five people, though the middle seat on the rear bench might feel tight for adults on a long journey. Getting in and out is easy, as is the case with most SUVs. Visibility is also good, but the rear window is on the small side. Thankfully, blind spot alert is included as standard. There is ample adjustment offered on the front seats and the driver will easily be able to find a prime driving position. The Maserati Levante is presented in three trims. The GT and Modena share a 3.0-liter twin-turbo V6, but outputs differ from 345 HP, 369 pound-foot on the Entrispec model to 424 HP for 28 pound-foot on the Modena. Meanwhile, the Modena S models come with a 3.8-liter V8 with 550 horsepower and 538 pound-foot. All engines are mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission that sends the power to an all-wheel drive system. The GT is more luxury orientated with less power, more chrome on the outside, and more restrained styling details. The Modena shares many specifications, but it's more sportily styled with aggressive bumpers, more blackouted exterior treatment, and a more powerful engine. At the top of the trim levels, the Modena S boasts a twin-turbo Ferrari-sourced V8 and a few extra features, including the most premium materials and more standard features like the Harman Kardon sound system. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.